Good evening. Welcome to the show that scoops the truth from the honeypot about the people <coughs> who represent the people in our parliament, what they're up to, and why it matters. I'm Oriana. And I'm Isabel. This is I on the Hive. There was a panic across the nation today after news from the Beehive of a law to ban the internet because too much time is wasted on it. Here is our reporter, Ella. Well, yes, in an almost empty house today, the Minister for Statements and Announcements declared plans for a new law to let internet nationwide. This could send the country back to the last century in terms of progress. What does the government hope to achieve with this law, apart from making the cells unpopular with anyone born after 1990? We'll bring you more information as it comes to hand. Back to you, Oriana and Isabel. Yes, it all seems unusual. Let's have a look at the speech the Minister made in the House earlier today. To ban the internet will have many benefits. Without, without the distraction of the internet, people would play more sports, talk to each other, exercise more, and become generally more smart. The internet is turning our minds to slush, and we are becoming a country of square-eyed sofa potatoes obsessed with cu funny cat videos. Banning the internet will have lasting benefits, not only for our children, but for our children's children's children. And we understand the Minister for Statements and Announcements has just gone on an emergency holiday and is unavailable to the media. And what does the Prime Minister have to say about it all? Our reporter Jess was at the Prime Minister's press conference earlier today. Hello everyone, thanks for coming. I want to address the speculation around the ban, the internet bill. At this point, no decision has been made either way. It's safe to say that going forward, we definitely will not be looking backwards. Any word on the minister for statements and announcements who has now gone on holiday? This is just a hard-working minister who's gone away on a long overdue holiday. I wouldn't read too much into it. When can we expect this legislation to be put before the House? It will be put before the House after we considered the issue. We're, f we're looking at finding a middle ground, which I don't think is over the top, under the circumstances. No more questions. Thanks for coming. Here at On The Hive, we've heard the rumblings of the government digging up their old political hot potato of changing the voting age. Some are saying that lowering their voting age from 18 to 12 could gain around half a million new voters. Not exactly small fry. Packing down on the tight side of the media scrum is our reporter, Ivy. Yes, I'm warming up for the media scrum. It's just about to happen here as we await the Honourable Minister of various things. Minister, is it true that there has been a discussion about changing the voting age? Will there be an announcement soon? An announcement is always a possibility. Could the voting age be changed from 18 to 12 to capture the youth, youth vote? Well, when I was 12, all I wanted to do was, do was climb trees and look at comics. But Minister, the question is, will it change in your opinion? Anything can change. I even changed my shoes this morning, since I was going to do a lot of walking. walking. Now excuse me. OK, the Minister is not giving anything away at this stage. We'll let you know what we know when we know it. Back to you, Oriana. Now it's time for the Eye on the Hive by-election live special. Tonight, we are looking at a by-election for the seat of Our Lady of Victories. There are three parties that have provided candidates who are eager to win your vote. The Square Party's candidate feels that we have too much school. The Pear Party's candidate believes that we need more fun activities. And the Beer Party's candidate claims that we have too much homework. Leading the debate is our reporter, Ella. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Meet the Candidates debate. Candidate 1, what are you going to bring to the people of OLV? Why should they vote for you? If they vote for me, then I will give the school playground an upgrade, and I will make sure that school starts late on Mondays and finishes early on Fridays. And Candidate 2, how do you respond to that? Why should the people of OLV elect you to Parliament? If they vote for me, I'll give them a Mufti movie day every Friday with free popcorn and fun activities to do. What do you see as a big issue, both for the country and also for the electorate? Candidate 3. I hear that there are people doing homework all day after school. So boring, right? But if you vote for me, I will, ban I will ban homework from all schools. And every Saturday, I will host a pizza party with fun games. Well, thank you very much for coming along, and good luck to all you. Back to you, Isabella. 
Now it's over to Kalu and David with a quick look at the political forecast based on the Eye on the Hive political poll. Thanks, Isabel. Well, we asked people what they believe is the most pressing issue in the coming election, and the results are in. 30% of those surveyed said we have too much homework. 45% said that we need more fun activities. 15% said that we have too much homework, with 10% saying they did not know. And now to the latest political opinion poll. The Square Party tracking at a healthy zero, up by two, the Bear Party with five, and the Beer Party with one leader. And the Swipe Party nil all at half time, with 15% still saying they did not know. So, so at this stage, it's fair to say that this is still anyone's election. Back to the studio. Thank you. Finally, we'd like to end on a positive note. So tonight's feel-good political story involves two of our elected representatives in an effort to do a rap. Let's take a look now. I'm here, I'm here with Lucas and Charlie, popular MPs from the Happy Party, who are here now to demonstrate that members of parliament are not boring, dull, dullards with no sense of fun. So what are you guys going to be doing for us today? We're going to show you how to do a rap. Yo, let me tell you about a place in NZ where the bees are buzzing, political frenzy. Wellington Parliament with the leaders debate, policies and plans that can make or break the state. Wellington Parliament where the voices ring and the halls of power where the leaders bring. Hope for the people, decision so grand. To guide in New Zealand, our beautiful land. Well, that's enough of that. Back to you, Oriana. And that's another day in Parliament. They say a week is a long time in politics. All the more reason to keep an eye on the hive. Good night. Good night.